Welcome to Squad Says, I am Ted's Friends. And I am the Mike Robles, and this is Squad Says Guest. It's an interactive trivia show where you, the audience, make all the decisions. Your job will be to help out your chef by answering questions, and for every question you get right, you will earn points for your squad, as well as earn resources for your chef to start out with in our cooking show, Squad Says Served. So if you haven't already, make sure you've logged into Twitch and make sure you've joined a squad. As a reminder, you will, voting will only work if you're on a PC and a Mac, and you won't be able to vote if you're on mobile or a tablet. Okay, is everyone ready? Let's go ahead and meet our judges, Myra and Dante. Come on out. Come on over. We'll have you sit right over here. Mike, you didn't actually like sing or anything this time around. Ah, uh, you know, it's, they were a lot closer this time, so yeah. I wasn't I wasn't ready for it. I was it. waiting for it. I was getting ready to <laughs> chime in doom. with a different song like doom, you normally doom. do. You yeah. sing one tune and I sing a different one. Uh, all right, so here's what's going to happen in this one. We're going to introduce these uh, fine judges to you folks at home. They're going to tell you a little bit about who they are, uh, where they can find you on the internet, and what they do on their, you know, when they're not judging yeah. judging foods. Uh, so I want, you, so Myra, I want you to look at that camera right there and go ahead and tell the folks at home uh, who you are and what you do. Hi, I'm Myra Dietzel, and I'm an actor, writer, director, producer for Space Dragon Entertainment. You do it all. That's a lot of things. What is, what is Space Dragon Entertainment? It's my own independent production company. Oh. Um, we are currently trying to get a show called Cold Walls picked up and produced. Um, What's cold, what, what is Cold Walls? It's it a sci-fi post-apocalyptic show um, that focuses on psychopaths Ooh. and the reality Whoa. versus the stereotypes. Wow. That sounds really interesting. That sounds cool. That's awesome. And we have, uh, to your left, we have Dante. Dante, tell the folks at home a little bit about yourself. I'm actually a comedian. Uh, it's spelled D-U-A-N-T-E, so I get everything from Duante to Dwayne, like the T silent, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne, but the T is silent. Yeah, uh, I'm a stand-up comedian. I do everything from producing to hosting. I uh, do a little bit of improv. Uh, you can catch us at Jai Tai, uh, Laughs. We do everything from Bellingham all the way down to Portland. Man, that is, that is a wide range say, of stuff. I was going to say, that's a long way. Bellingham is what, like two and a half? Yep. Hours away from here? Uh, and can I say, uh, Mr. Dante, thank you for classing up the joint there, bringing a little bit of class into the studio. I don't think we've ever had anybody show up in a three-piece suit. I actually uh, go by the suit man. It's my look. The yeah. suit man. I did not have court today or job <laughs> interview. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Uh, so while they're setting up voting and everything and the folks at home, uh, if you folks are watching right now, if you're new to the show, please join a squad. You should see on your screen a button that actually says join a squad. And you can uh, then choose whether or not you want to join Purple Squad, which is Mike Squad, which is the Devious Squad, or you can join Green Squad, Ted Squad, which is the Handsome Squad. So please join Green Squad. Uh, we need so another victory on our belt. See, we only have one of these. That's green. right. <laughs> we we got, only have one of these victories over here. Well, we got two. two. That's right. We got twice as many. Uh, so the way this is going to work, you guys, is you're going to see voting uh, on your screen. You're going to vote for your squads. And what's going to happen is for as many points as you get in this first round, that's going to help your chefs in our second show, Squad Says Served. And uh, chefs, you guys are going to want to listen up to this because up for grabs in round one is you get to go first and serve, which means you'll have the first vote. You'll be the first one to get resources, and you'll have an extra minute of time. And if you win this round, uh, the opposing chef and squad leader must address you and and your uh, your squad leader as sir for the rest of the day. <laughs> we got <laughs> we got that one earlier and we went back into the production room and went what the hell? It was good. <laughs> I like that. I like it. It's a good one. No, it's like better it. than before we had actual things that we would get yeah, like no. knives. Not, and, no. To yeah, cook with. The she, well, as we've learned the chefs don't need knives or utensils or anything. Um, so yeah, as evidenced by a couple days ago where we saw uh, Chef uh, Kells, who had all of her utensils taken away, and decided to stir her fried rice with a large zucchini. There you go. <laughs> which uh, was <laughs> her only option at that point. Maggie K. Punk says, uh, but if you were a judge, wouldn't that make this a food court? Oh, my God. Oh, that's, Jesus. That's good. You could be the judge of the food court. Look at this. You got the suit and everything. We need to get you a gown. Yeah, Judge Dante. We right? should start bringing in gowns for them both. That way they can both start being judges. So, folks, you're seeing an answer uh, or a uh, question. You're going to vote true or false on this. In about 10 seconds, we're going to tell you the right answer. We're going to get a little story from both of these uh, judges about their answers, and we'll move on to the next question there for Purple Squad to be answering. And Green Squad here has voted true on this. Now, Dante prefers steak over pizza. Is that true or false? 
Yeah, that's true. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I'm a high-class bitch. Don't you see the soup? I mean, if you want some of this, you got to buy me steak and lobster before I put Steak out. and wow. lobster. He says, yo. You won't put out for pizza? I'll put out for pizza. My God. I mean, if you're a good-looking woman, I'd put out for pizza. But if you're not good-looking, you got to buy me steak. Wow, okay. Uh, that's totally fine. I, I mean, sure. I'll go, I'll go for pizza. I'm a cheap date. <laughs> Myra, do you prefer steak or pizza? Steak. <laughs> Everybody wants some much steak. We should we should put the show into the hole and get just steaks, it's fillets, a, three fillets. three fillet for all three. No, no, no you hate fillets. Fillets right. are flavorless garbage. There's no rib fat eye. in them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you get the yeah. ribeye, which just is three, just or one the giant, one giant porterhouse. There you go, one giant porterhouse. Porter good for steak. Yeah. Porterhouse is real good steak. Yeah, see, I'm glad we're in agreement on this. That there's uh, that fillets fillet eaters are wrong. <laughs> All right, uh, they answered false to this there. Uh, speaking of food, Dante, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, it would be a poke bowl. Is that true or false? What, what's it? That's, that sounds like oh, a right. false to me right there. <laughs> uh, you, ever <laughs> you, you ever had poke? Huh? It, you I never guess had not. Poke? I'm Howley. I, I, I know it's an island dish, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, exactly. I'm a Howley. I okay. know what that means. For, for our <laughs> Islander fans, they'll laugh at that. Um, I'm not Polynesian, so I do not eat poke. No, sir. No. Well, I also think they pretty quickly said false because they're like, look, the man just talked about his love for steak. <laughs> no, he right? eats steak. Like, why the hell would he eat? Like, Gimme. Yeah. What's Howley? Uh, oh, um, everybody in this room is Howley. So if you go to Hawaii, um, it's the derogatory term for Maine Islanders. Yeah. So. Maine Islanders. Really? Yeah, yeah, you're Howley. Oh, that's really interesting. Wait. You're... Oh, oh, well, I am Maine not. I, it, I am it, not it, Polynesian. It. I know you keep looking at me going, this Hawaiian guy just called him Howie. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Howie. Oh I'm not The Rock. No, no. Not Let's, The Rock. My mistake. I'm sorry. I thought he was here. Let's learn a little more about Myra this time. <laughs> Green Squad voted false on this one. Myra would rather hold a birthday party in a bar than an arcade. Is that true or false? That's false. All right. That is yes. false. We got another point for Green Oh, absolutely. I think a lot of people would. Yeah, like so many possibilities. Yeah, exactly. You could play Hydro Thunder. <laughs> yeah. Galaga. Sun Sunset Riders. Uh, Sunset when, Riders. When's the last time you were at Not Kid? Um, actually, I think July. Yeah, what, what did you, what games did you play when you go to arcades? I was just there bowling, to be honest. Just bowling? No, that's fine. <laughs> that's awesome. No, that's a great idea. Wait, yeah. bowling? We have round what one? arcade is a bowling? Round one, oh, man. There's been one around. in Kirkland that has... Uh, oh. Yeah, it's an arcade and a bowling alley. Oh, I live in Kirkland. Could you tell me where that is later? Because yeah, that sounds absolutely. awesome. You want your mind blown and go down to Tequila, go to round one. That's really far. No, trust That's me. That's a longer drive worth than I'm willing to trust make. Trust me, worth it. All right. Trust me, it's eat worth it. And Renton, there's still a quarter. And you oh, beer oh. and pizza. And pizza, and pizza you know how much and there's pizza. And pizza. still across the street. Jesus. <laughs> All right, uh, Myra, they voted true on this. You'll enjoy zombie movies. Is that true or false? That is false. That is false. What? We got that Whoa. one incorrect. Yeah. Not a fan of the zombie movie. You're doing a post-apocalyptic serial There's a big killer. difference. Hold on. She's going to tell you. Oh, here we go. All right. Here we go. So many zombie movies do pretty much the same thing. I mean, we've seen almost every uh, story with zombies done. And for me to really be interested in them, they have to have a unique edge. And um, I haven't seen one. In all you've never seen a... What is, what is the closest thing to an okay zombie movie you've ever seen? Well, I mean, Evil Dead was a good one. Oh, that's Evil a great Dead one. Episode. It's a classic. All right. Yeah. Have you seen the short? There's a short that's out there that I thought was a super unique story. What it, it was the uh, uh, dad who turned, who's turning into a zombie, and so he like puts the baby in his like little bat or in the little like bat carrier, and he has like meat hanging in front of him. So when he turns into a zombie, he just starts walking with the baby on his back wow. to deliver it to like other Jeez. people. It's a really emotional, really like yeah, it's a interesting thing that I never would have like thought of before, but I, I love it. It's fantastic. I, I don't need to cry when I'm watching the zombie movie. I was just That's thinking. What I, want to do. I, I feel so it. bad for the zombie. The zombie with a little child, a little zombie baby. <clears throat> All right, so <laughs> Dante, they voted true on this. Dante's favorite TV show is Game of Thrones. True or false? I've never watched an episode. <laughs> you I know never. I look like Jason Momoa, and somebody <laughs> said I look like his character the other day, and I was like, who's that? And they are like, Aquaman. It's Okay, but I, you don't watch Game of Thrones? Uh, that's like not where my nerd goes. Is I'm Jason like, Momoa in Game of Thrones? Oh, he is, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. 
That, that's what the girls said to me. You do not remember? No, I don't know. <laughs> Here's a secret. I only started watching Game of Thrones in the sixth season and just watched it from there. <laughs> I'm sure, and I'm sure everything makes could, sense. I tried to see if I could pick it up from the sixth season. <laughs> I'm sure everything <laughs> makes sense from that. <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah. They're still there. Right. They're They're still already, banging anyway. and killing people. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Uh, Dante, if you had the ability to fall on this, if you had to eat, if you had to choose between two pints of ice cream or one whole chicken every day, <laughs> you, you racist son of a bitch. You would, you would pick the chicken. No, I would no, not right, pick boss, the chicken. Uh, great, so we got that one correct. So you <laughs> eat two pints of ice cream every day. I don't really a, like chicken. Uh, that's good to know. Well, I'm glad. All three dishes are chicken today. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. Shit. So here's the thing. I also agree. Chicken is pretty flavorless on its own. Yes. It's, it's pretty bad. You gotta you gotta dress it up with other stuff to make it good. It's not good on its own. I was like it says a whole chicken and to me that just means like you don't get it. You just uh, slap a whole chicken down. So you can't leave until you finish the <laughs> I just feel like I'm a fat guy sitting in Costco every day eating a rotisserie chicken. And that's, that's, not, that's just not the picture I want to be. <laughs> Green Squad has voted false on this. Myra is more interested in physics than geography. Is that true or false? It's true. I'm more I mean, I think most people would be more interested in physics than <laughs> geography. But uh, so, do you actually have any sort of knowledge in physics, or is this just like um, a? I love really old sci-fi, so I oh, okay. try to okay. um, understand the scientific concepts that they put in. Sure. Sometimes it's physics. It goes a little above my head, but it's one thing I wish I could understand better. Yeah. So, are you a fan? So, would you say like when you're watching old sci-fi, you're more of a fan of like hard sci-fi? Yeah, where it actually has real science yeah. put into it, of course. That's awesome. I like the I like the easy stuff like Star Wars. Right? <laughs> I like that too. Yeah. No, absolutely. Is there like some really obscure old sci-fi movie that you just absolutely love that you're like, have you seen this movie? And everyone's like, what? Um, movie? I don't know. Show? Book? Oh. Yes. All right, yeah. Well, um, Who goes there? Which is actually the basis for all the the thing movies. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! All right. My absolute favorite. Yeah. Um, but it's sometimes better than. Anything. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, they voted false on this, uh, and I think this is probably a misleading question to the squad, considering all the stuff we've learned about you so far. They say, uh, Myra, there's, they voted false that you believe there's absolutely no way aliens have visited, have visited Earth. They, they said that I said false. They, they said they. false, yeah. So, they, no, I don't believe aliens have visited Earth. All right, so that, this is actually true. She actually does think that aliens have not visited Earth yeah. right there. Really? And I think the sci-fi stuff probably threw off. They're like, oh, she's into <laughs> sci-fi. She's probably into aliens and all that stuff. Well, I mean, why would they want to with everything that's going on? Well, now, well, I maybe, mean, maybe. I don't know. We're probably being observed, like watched <laughs> in some way. What about back when we were interesting? Back when we were interesting, uh, we're fucked now. Like this, I'd say we're far more interesting now to like an outside observer. Like, yeah, but they're definitely not gonna want to come and come no. back. No, like oh shit, they're gonna, they're just gonna throw, just throw guns at us. They're just gonna yeah. throw them. They're gonna build a space wall. Space wall. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> we're just gonna wake up when the sun go. And it's just like metal. No. My apologies, my apologies. No, no, you're no, no, we're on the internet. <laughs> this is a tasteful joke. Yep. <laughs> All right, so uh, squads voted uh, true on this one. <clears throat> you prefer boxing to MMA. Is that true or false? <laughs> Sounds like you like both. Yeah. Yeah, if you had to pick I mean, one to watch. Honestly, I like uh, MMA more. Yeah. Because the judging doesn't screw you as much. As boxing does, so you, I mean, so you, you prefer... Break, you get to break guys' limbs, <laughs> you can bust their kneecap, motherfucker. This fight's going to end usually, you know? And so <laughs> you don't get that bullshit, you know, 12 oh, rounds sure. just for somebody to have said, I think the other guy's uh, better. I'm so happy you hate that the judging can screw somebody over. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> because only taste is worth... Taste is only worth 10 points. It doesn't matter how good <laughs> these two guys cook. <laughs> if, the, if it looks and it matches the other scoring category, the judge is going to fuck one of those guys <laughs> You said there, I guess. Yeah. Uh, never mind. I love boxing. I like boxing. <laughs> Ted wants to believe. That's so good. They want, to, they want you to believe in the aliens. That's true. Ted doesn't want to believe in the aliens. All right, uh, Dante. They voted false on this. If you were given a bill for a twenty-dollar meal, plus twenty bucks for three drinks, plus four dollars for tax. What is this? I know this is that one. Forty-four dollars. So, exactly. That's y yes. Uh, you would tip six dollars or less. Is that true or false? Uh, 
That's probably false. Probably false. All right. Uh, it depends great. on the service. Right. You know what depends I mean? Depends on the service. 15, that's less than 15% to be exact. So that's under that. I'm a nerd. No, but, hey, man. No, no, that's, 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 nerd. no that's I love it. like 15.7%. <laughs> Uh, no, um, I, I usually tip better than that. I don't. I'm cheap, so if I go out, I expect good service. So you're either getting nothing or you're getting like thirty percent. All right, nice. So like with good service, you're w very willing to give like a. Oh, good you tip. might get a twenty dollar bill on a forty dollar tab. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Damn, forty four dollars. See, I am. Oh my god, I am. You so did the bad bare minimums. It. You get your minimum, which is your hourly. Even even yeah. even with bad service, I feel bad about giving people like a less than fifteen percent. So tip. I'm a comedian. And yeah. We don't ever get tips. The only time oh, we get sure. tips is when I get a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, Comedians so are like, I got to do like right. really good to get a drink or something. So, yeah. yeah. The <clears> only <throat> tips we get are from other comedians. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't tips at all. Yeah, well, that's, that's bad that's advice. That's advice. <laughs> that's advice and exposure, Derek. <laughs> it's exposure. <laughs> Green Squad voted false on this. My would, uh, Myra would rather cook a dinner for 20 people then crash a stranger's wedding. Is that true or false? It's true. That's true. It's true. Awesome. Okay, so we got that wrong again there. <laughs> All right, we don't we don't have these two guests you pegged on for you all day. You ready? You ready to be called <laughs> Sir all day, Dad? <laughs> Hope you guys are ready to call us Sir all day. Let's talk about somebody your cooking habits. So you is it because you don't want to crash a wedding or because you love to cook? Um, I don't see cooking for 20 people as being that big of a deal. I grew up with my mom catering a lot. Oh, nice. Oh. Um, and for Christmas, we have like 30 plus people in our house. So <laughs> I'm kind of used to it. That's the easy go-to. Do you, do you cook often? Um, nah. No. Not really. <laughs> oh, we have the answer, by the way. Sorry, I was waiting for the answer. We have the answer. Uh, they would have false on this. Uh, you would rather watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade over the Westminster Dog Show. <laughs> Yeah, I would rather watch the dog show. All right, so we got that one right. Nice what are you job. Laughing about <laughs> that sounds like a suicidal morning for me. I'm not <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. I have to watch one or the no. other. I'm not. I mean, at least with the dogs, they're cute and entertaining, especially when they're wrong I'm and they do the wrong right. thing. I'm like smacking they're the poles back and forth. <laughs> what they do, they so you, embarrass their so owner. You're, so you watch in the hopes that like you get to watch a dog like poop. I don't on really the, on the watch floor. it. Well, that's why somebody watches like. But like you know, you see the little Facebook videos, oh, the yeah, dog yeah. that runs away. Or goes through the obstacle course Runs backwards. Runs into a wall. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> it's true. That's why people watch NASCAR. It's the same thing. Fuck. All right. So, <laughs> Green Squad has voted true on this. <laughs> What's yes, wrong? Sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just got a whole picture. Just the whole front row being taken out. And everybody like, yeah, NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> Dante would rather play a one million dollar match against a random American at pinball over bowling. That's true yeah. or false? Fuck true? Yeah. Oh, we got that right. Good job. We finally got one. <laughs> got one on the board. Thank you, Green Squad. Okay, so you're not a bowler. You're a pinballer. I had my knee replaced, and so I can't. I'm not allowed to bowl anymore. <laughs> really? <clears throat> you know, my left knee, um, the impact just hurts. Really? Yeah, it sounds I like bowl. a story. What happened? Uh, football, semi-pro. Fo semi-pro football is horrible because you deal with way worse hits. Wow. And a whole bunch of cheap players in the NFL. There's like flags and yeah, yeah, yeah. And semi-pro, the guys sitting outside the parking lot waiting to kick your ass and shit. It's no. a little different. No. So damn, gotcha. <laughs> All right. Uh, so they voted false on this, and I actually think you guys might have gotten this one wrong. But this is this is me. I don't have the answer, so I'm actually oh, curious okay. to hear. This is uh, you guessing. Dante, you prefer Jeopardy over Family Feud. Is that true or false? Ooh. Family Feud's funny, but I, I want, I've been on the, I almost got on the show, we'll just put it to you that way. Nice. I've taken well, the tests. Yeah, I was going to say, because you talk about being a nerd and stats and all that, so I yeah. think you'd be more into Jeopardy. Yeah. So yeah. I, I was right, Squad was wrong, I can't say what I think though, but alright. Jeopardy's not too, isn't <clears throat> that hard, it's like, the, all the questions are the most obvious thing. Like, Look, let's just say, to it. let's just no, say during Kids you're... Week, I excel at that. I, am, I get like every question right on Kids Week. I would hope so. On Jeopardy. Kids Week. On Jeopardy. You gotta understand the test is different because they give you 50 questions in 50 different categories. That's so crazy. So it's not like the show. Yeah. You get on the show and you've got 12 categories. You hit five categories that are like yours, your money. I don't know shit about German literature. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about who was a ballerina in 1930. <laughs> you know, there's certain things I shouldn't know about that they ask me questions about. So.
<laughs> Cream Squad voted false on this question. Myra's favorite candy bar is a whatchamacallit. <laughs> what? Is that true or false? It's false. Okay, oh. perfect. I'm glad because I don't know what a whatchamacallit is. I will either. buy you one. They're I delicious. Oh point. my God. Uh, whatchamacallits are delicious. Being best friends. <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite candy bar then? I would say Snickers right now. Really? Right yeah. now? Oh, does it, oh, hang on. Right now? Do these change? Yes, they do. <laughs> what was your last favorite candy? How often do they change? <laughs> oh, good. Um, I don't know. It changes every Halloween, I guess. <laughs> So this Halloween was you all about the Snickers and Crunch. Oh, and the Crunch. Ooh, Crunch do, bars are good. Do you do you ever go for the uh, um, the uh, like the the different holiday flavors? You know, M and M's has like oh peanut M and M's, like caramel M and M's, or white mm, chocolate M and M's. Not really. No, you stick you stick your traditionalist. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Oh. You ever had I a mean, cowtail? Yes, those are really good. Cowtails are also surprisingly good. good. Go to a gas station; they're really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's not where I go for food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so Purple Skull, we need to get this one right. Uh, otherwise, we're going to end in a tie, which is all, we're all calling each other sirs all day. Uh, this is going to happen. Uh, they voted, I believe they voted false on this. I think it was, was it false? They left off they the They did screen. vote Okay, false. they voted false. Myra, you've never watched uh, Breaking Bad or The Wire. This is true. I've never that watched. is true. All right. So once we get that one wrong, <laughs> which means that we are into the tie, which means for the rest of the day, all four of us are calling all four of us sir. <laughs> That's my rule on that. We'll figure out something to do during the break. We'll make you guys play rock, paper, scissors. Figure out who goes first We're gonna on... We're going to push it to round two. All right, we'll push it to round two. That's the plan. We'll push oh, it round my two. God. That's what we did last time. But <clears throat> yeah, and it, was, and it worked Christ. out great. Uh, I want to thank our judges. Thank you guys so much. We're going to check back in with you guys uh, back in Served. Uh, I, almost, I thought it was an audience here. I almost said round of applause for our judges. Yeah, round of applause. Know, if you're at home, <laughs> clap with your silent. computer right now. Yeah. Uh, but thank you guys so much. Go ahead and head on over there. Let's get our judges over, or our chefs over here. Oh, sir right. and sir. Sir and sir. Sir Derek and Sir Silas. Oh, All right. Good afternoon, sir. Good, no, good afternoon, soon. sir. Oh, oh good sir. afternoon, sir. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Oh, sir. Oh, 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 I this is going to be a day. Oh. This is going to be a day. Oh, what a fantastic Produ day, sir. Production uh, now officially hates that they did that. Yep. <laughs> I don't call white people, sir. Uh, not gonna do it. Not gonna do You're it. making a good choice. You're making a really good choice. This we're sir. both Mexican. Yes, I know sir. we don't look it. <laughs> Slippery we live in Seattle and don't get much sun. We're both Mexican. You don't got to call this guy, sir. That's fine. Uh, no, no, I'll that's call you guys, sir. You know what? Let's 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 change the power dynamic. I like I like calling all of the every one, sir. This yeah. is fun. Uh, so, for you guys at home that are just joining us, let's go ahead and introduce our uh, chefs for today. Starting to hear to my immediate left. I'm Derek Sheen. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. It's me, comedian Derek Sheen. Welcome back. Uh, by thanks the way. for having me back, you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what do you want to know? What do you want to I do stand up for a living? That's because my wife has a great job. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, you can find me on uh, Derek Sheen Rules with a Z dot com and uh, clips and albums. I brought a copy of my album for you guys today. That, I saw. I want to get one mounted. The actual record. I make you know stuff. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to cook again. This is going to be super fun. Where can, um, where can folks find you if they want to hear your stuff or follow you on Twitter? You can go to my website at Derek Sheen Rules. You can find me at Twitter <clears throat> at Derek Sheen because I got in early and uh, <laughs> used my real name without it. And then on Instagram, Derek Sheen six six six. Uh, or just go to standuprecords.com, or yeah. Spotify, or Pandora, or iTunes, or Tidal. You just sold out, just yeah. everywhere. Oh, I, I, please out. let me sell out. <laughs> For the love of God, please let me sell out. <laughs> Today's my 49th birthday. I want to sell out now. So oh, uh, happy birthday! Yeah. Sure. I've been holding on to this integrity for so way too let's long. Let's give him a loss today. Let's get yeah, 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 right. wow, a second one. Let's get me a second yeah. loss today. Did you say you wanted to spend your 49th birthday? Be like, you know what I want to do? I want to judge food. That's going to be. I want to cook food. That's going to be judged by two well, people. Well, it's it, it's a great thing for me to do on this Friday because the rascal store store is closed. I can't try out scooters. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I figured, why not just cook all day? My last time, stand it up. <laughs> all right. And uh, on my right here, I have uh, Green Chef Silas. Yes. <clears throat> Introduce yourself. Um, I'm Silas Lindenstein. I am a real estate agent and comedian because I did sell out uh, a long time ago. <laughs> uh, sold out. So, uh, yeah, I, I, real estate's my day job. And at night, when, I, when I'm not having children, <clears throat> um, I go do comedy. I have a lot of children right now. Um, and, uh... Yeah, make it sound I'm, like you normally like you come home, got a kid. Feels like it. Have a kid. Feels like it. Um, <laughs> they're always there, constantly. Um, <laughs> I do. I do have an album oh out. Uh, it's not more of a 
uh, parody mm -hmm. uh, CD. It's called Sauce on the Scent, Frozen and Carbonite, where I took all the songs from the musical Frozen and made them about Star Wars. I and have so, to hear that. That sounds <laughs> awesome. That's really good. That I, sounds I, I awesome. Do it's on Spotify. <laughs> I that know. sounds rad. Uh, so we already got voting <clears throat> started, everybody. We do want to remind right. you that all the questions that you're answering are going to be about your squad's chef. So any questions that Green Squad is answering, they're going to be about Silas. Uh, yeah, and this question is a purple squad is answering. It's going to be all about Derek. And Maggie Punk says Derek switched colors because he wanted to win. That was a handoff. Uh -huh. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't <laughs> catch it. I'm sorry. Was too no, quick. it's all right. Uh, hey, Marie, uh, let's go ahead and remind everyone what's up for grabs for round two. <laughs> In round two, uh, the winner of round two gets to choose the topic for uh, the speed round. And today's topics are music and science. Ooh, You'll also get to go okay. first and Ooh. served, and you get to choose your knife for yourself and your opponent. Okay. Yeah, there's we can do lot, this. There's a lot of writing on it. All right, so Green Squad <clears throat> voted false on this first round there, and let's get voting started back again. Uh, Silas would rather dice 10 onions than peel 50 potatoes. Is that true or false? I'm going to tell you what you Wait, answer? wait, wait. Um, <laughs> I, would, I would rather peel the potatoes. You'd rather peel potatoes. That's rather. correct. All right, so that was a, a false is correct there. Why would you rather, can you not chop onions? I, I can't. I just oh I cry. Okay, so, so it's hard. the same with me. Like, yeah, I just can't make it through like through you know two and it's like I'm watching the color purple all day. <laughs> God, <laughs> that's where you. And know. I don't mean that color purple. I <laughs> Maybe it is that color purple. I, I'm the Seeling. same way. I the second I chop into an onion, I just start yeah, crying and well, I can't see. Like I end up having to chop with my eyes closed. The yeah, sure yeah. that works out great. No, yeah, it's <laughs> wonderful. So where's the, I have, where's I have the four fingers? Timber's like, where's the bird? <laughs> oh God! Even, I have, even I have a bird devil at home, doesn't so. chop onions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Derek. They voted on this for you. They voted true on this. Your favorite pizza topping is cheese. Is that true or false? False. That's false. Purple Squad, come on, look at this man. False, it's Italian sausage. It's Italian, it's sausage. Italian sausage. Oh, yeah. How do you specify? Where do you find the best Italian sausage pizza here in Seattle? I, you know, I haven't found one. I mean, it's like Sergio's. That's my favorite Italian sausage, and they're made here. So, any, uh, that's, oh, put it on a pizza. That. I will, uh, I'll, you know what, what do you, mouth kiss? Whatever you want. <laughs> I don't care. Are you a Pagliacci boy as well, or no? No. no. Really? No. no. Then crust is too thin, toppings are way too spread out. I've never been a Pagliacci fan. Wow, wow. I'm a big Pagliacci boy. Taking them down. Have you ever had a Windy City pie? Yes, and in fact, that's my new favorite pie. They're They're really? Good. Oh, okay. Have you had the, Windy City pie? The goddamn crust, he <clears throat> bakes the Parmesan into the crust so it's just Ooh. black and cheesy and melty. It's so good. I'm Windy, City pie. Yeah. Windy City pie is a Chicago deep dish style pizza. Yeah. Oh, and you mean soup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. He makes the crust really thick. It's not a casserole, so yeah. the crust yeah. is really spongy and the toppings are on top. And it's just buttery and it's like a sour dough. You can only have one or two slices. In it's time. like you opened a calzone and then just. Well, that's the thing. I don't only want to have one or two slices. I want to have like seven and be, not be able to move out of my bed all day. Oh, you want to like... be able to move after two. Okay. Yeah. Two will stop your heart. All right. So we've got. <laughs> that kind of good. I already take a baby aspirin for that. So we've got uh, Green Squad voting true on this. Uh, Silas wears cotton boxer underwear. Is that true or false? <laughs> false. False. All right. What are you, Commando? He wears uh, no underwear. Yeah. For, uh, I'm more of a brief guy. Brief Burl guy. Burlap. Yeah. Burlap. <laughs> <They will. laughs> it's real itchy most, most days. <laughs> Potato sack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a boxer brief guy myself. Cross between the two. It's like you're indecisive. No, they're <laughs> quite different. Are you a Libra? No, uh, Gemini. Okay. Same thing. <laughs> He said the same thing. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Did we win that? We no, we didn't. Yeah. We got one point right now. Right. They thought I was a boxer guy? Yeah, they are a boxer guy. Wow. Wow. I don't know. They just, they imagine me just swinging. <laughs> swinging. Too loose. Too loose. Too loose. I need comfort. I need to be hugged. <laughs> it's the only, the only oh. hugging I get. <laughs> We've lost control so soon. Uh, <laughs> they voted false on this, Derek. You would rather give up your driver's license than coffee. Is that true or false? That's false. I would That's rather drive than drink coffee. Great. We got that one right. I'm really sorry. Did we get one right? <clears throat> we got one. We got okay. one right there. Uh, Minky198 says, this is just Twitch. Why is this so well produced? Because <laughs> because we put a lot of money into this. <laughs> okay. Because we're all going broke. What is happening? The they say it's well produced, and then somebody's just starting to hit every single camera over there. <laughs> <laughs> just the best of you guys. <laughs> Jesus. We I can't. love that. We have a lot, even production's getting it on. Oh this. my we god, they're having a good time back there. Mess they're showing off all of the all the angles they are, and whatnot. They are. For Welcome everybody. to Launch Week. If you were just joining us, this is Squad Says. This is our Launch Week. We're doing guests.
after that. Yeah. Let's. Why are they still on the like? And I don't. I, I don't, don't know. know. They're let's, still let's just like looking. On. It's like somebody said, "Hey, it's so well produced," and then went, "Let's fuck it up." <laughs> yeah. That's great. I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> we'll show you well produced. <laughs> All right, so uh, Group Spot voted false on this one, Silas. The most recent movie Silas has watched is Elf. That's true. Oh, that's false. 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 All right, okay. so what is the most recent movie that you've actually watched today? Um, the the new Harry Potter movie, the yeah. uh, uh, the no, Fantasy, of, Fantastic Beast. Fantastic Beast. Beast. Fantastic Beast Two. Is it good? I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Yeah? I enjoyed it. Yeah. I liked the first one, but like I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying it's great. Yeah. I no, didn't have to remember the name. Okay. You know, but it was like, yeah, I had a good time, and I look forward to the other. It was enjoyable. I like how the do you, story. I like that world. With your 85 kids, how do you have time to go to the <laughs> movies? Uh, that, uh, you put them in an Uber and just tell them to drive for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> it costs $1,000. <laughs> yeah. Because <Yeah. laughs> the cleanup after that is a, is a mess. Uh, they voted true on this, Derek. Your ideal burger includes meat that weighs a half pound before cooking. Is that true or false? False. I'm an eight-ounce guy. So, oh, so, I, I, oh. This is true. I said eight ounces. That's half a pound. Oh, is that half a pound? That's half a pound. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a math show. No, this is a cooking <laughs> show, obviously. This is why you stand up. Is I stand up and that. If you watched Wednesday, if you watched Wednesday show, I actually said I was mathematically illiterate. Oh no! <laughs> I kind of punked myself. So. <laughs> So what did they say? We got a point. We got a point. Yeah. 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 And I oh, apologize man. to all of you who do know math. I am dumb as a fart. <laughs> dumb as a fart. Oh, I'm crying. I'm crying. Be there have been a couple one. times where people have made us cry on this show. Oh, my God. Serotonia says, Elf is horrible. Oh, Sarah, Sarah, Tony, hates thank every, you, Maggie Punch. Serotonia hates everything. Oh, dude. really? They're the one that hates the cupcakes. Oh, they yeah, they the hate the frosting cookies. cookies. Frosting cookies. We love, but we love you, Serotonia. Oh, my. So Green Squad <laughs> has voted true on this one. We're taking our show back. Uh, oh, Silas man. would be better, would be a better matador than a bricklayer. <laughs> Green Squad voted true on this one. Be better. <laughs> Yeah. Well, what I'd rather be? I'd rather be a uh, matador. All right, a matador it yeah. is. So that is a yeah. point for Green Squad. Uh, you're big into the ole? <laughs> I don't know. Well, Wait, what was the other choice? Matador or brick what? A bricklayer. Yeah, it's just too much work. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like, you're going to stand there and work or just, uh, just get out of the way. I just want to get out of the way. <laughs> It's you still don't want to hold you have to run. Right? But then you have to <laughs> it's a big puppy. It's a big puppy. It just wants to come in and yeah. lick your face. It just and wants to gore your face. Just wants to gore you. <laughs> then I put his little feet in my mouth. It's <laughs> <laughs> on the ground. Step on me, bull. <laughs> Jesus. Sarah Tony says, I like things like good movies. Sarah Tony, I want to know what, what movies you think are good. Uh, they want a true on this, Derek. Your favorite video game is Pac-Man. Is that true or false? False. That is false. Come on, Green Ooh. Squad. Pick it up. Or Purple Squad, I mean. Pick it up. Uh, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. What's your favorite video game? Sorry, Scott uh, references. My favorite all-time, Abe's Odyssey. Still love it. Abe's Odyssey. That's a good game. That's a Ooh, really good game. I just <clears throat> got that new PlayStation Mini. Oh. I'm looking forward to playing the Odyssey. Still my yeah. favorite. Oh. Didn't they do a... Oh, they no, did a remaster. The, it was, it was, just, was it Abe's Odyssey, though? Was I think it was Abe's Odyssey. Yeah. Oh. It's late. What has happened? Farted. Was he the that's first? It's not the first insane. character to fart in the video. Yeah. There was no, there was not. There was a Sega Genesis game called Fartman or Boogerman who Booger also Man. farted. Oh yeah, yeah, really? Booger yeah. Booger yeah. Boogerman yeah. farted. Yeah, he picked his Sega nose. Genesis. Why do you know that that's the first character that's farted in video games? <laughs> Look, why did you have that knowledge just off the top of your head? Eight ounces. <laughs> There are a lot of things I know about video games. Yeah, no kidding. Holy <laughs> shit. We were talking about bringing our Switch in today to play Smash Brothers we before the we're show just, started. After, after, we're not even going to do It's going to be Squad Says Smash. Yeah, we might as well. <laughs> Fuck it. All right, so <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Uh, so Green Squad voted false on this one. Silas Silas prefers rice over pasta. You prefer rice over pasta? That's false. That's Ooh, pasta. you're a pasta boy. Yeah, I'm pasta. I'm, uh, uh, Italian you, background. Are you really? a lot of Italian in me. Uh, uh, my great grandfather's from Italy, so. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we always I just grew up on pasta. My go-to. Oh, okay. So do you? Uh, can you actually make fresh pasta and whatnot? Um, in theory, I've never. Asked <laughs> that. Like, cause sure. it's already there, yeah, and ready. Like, I'm not gonna lay bricks. No, of course, gonna... you're not gonna make pasta. <laughs> Same thing. It's already there. He's lazy to talk. I should. Yeah. I want to do it. Duh. <laughs> it's actually a goal. It's actually a goal. In the next year, I wanted to make my start making some of my own. But Sarah like, Tonya says the most recent movie they watched was Wreck-It Ralph 2, which was very good. And then Squid Surf says, I've heard mixed things. I'm finally going to go see it on Sunday. So I'm excited. On, on Tuesday when we come back, I'll tell you, Sarah Tonya, what Stop I think. Stop talking about Wreck-It Ralph. We're not advertising. They didn't buy advertising from us. Maybe they did. They said false to this, Derek. You prefer pho over ramen. Is it true or false? Uh, 
That is full. I lo- no, excuse me. I love I love uh, pho over rum. All right, so we got that one wrong. We need to, we need to catch. I'm a fug guy. Right, You're a fug guy. Right. Guys, we need to catch up here, Purple Squad. Oh, otherwise, oh, otherwise yeah. we're not gonna get to go first. But uh, so, Derek, why are you wrong? <laughs> what pho is delicious? Yeah, pho is fun. delicious. Ramen is better. I don't like the thicker noodles, and I like the pho broth because it's lighter, and I, I enjoy that more than the heavy uh, ramen broth. You're not supposed to drink the ramen broth. That's You're right, not? and I like no. to drink the pho broth. It's completely well, back. It's, it's salty. Is it a mostly broth? Like no, it's <laughs> supposed to flavor the noodles. Yes. But I like to get a, here's my thing, get a banh mi sandwich, get a yeah. banh Oh, fuck, that's so good. So that's, oh, that's well, how Daddy uh, likes well, his fuck. That's how Daddy, that's why like, I say that. You know, that's how Sir Daddy likes his fuck. Sir Daddy, yeah. That's how Sir Daddy likes his fuck. There's not enough carbs in this noodle soup. I'm going to dip a sandwich <laughs> in it. You don't even eat the noodles, man. Just hit that, this what, spice of What else broth. do you dip sandwiches in? Oh, God. Ice cream? Yeah, yeah sure, why not? Okay. What kind of, yeah, I just like dipping stuff. Jesus. Dipping Ralph, that's my new. Dipping Ralph. Dipping Ralph. Ralph. Dip uh, Ralph. Ralph dips the internet. It's an adult film. Uh, he <laughs> uses chewing tobacco, dipping Ralph. Uh, Green Squad has voted false on this one. Silas has jumped out of an airplane. True or false? I think no. they got they got no. you on no. that one. No. That was an easy no. one. Out of an so we got another point there. We're we're running <laughs> ahead here. We are just taking oh, a right. swim. I would out. push someone out of an airplane. But have I'm you really? Not. No. Oh, no, no, you I would. would. I would. <laughs> Right. Well, yeah. We can get behind this squad says smash. The audience chooses characters and maps. <laughs> that would be Steve. awesome. Steve, we got a new show for you. We got a new show for you. Uh, Just Ted and Mike play video Ted and Mike games. Play video games. Oh, yeah, man. there we go. Ooh. That's, that's it with special guests. That's called everywhere on the internet. That's called, that's called Pretty Twitch. Pretty much. TV. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to get this vote coming out here right now. We need to get the next three right just to even tie and hope that they get the next three wrong. And we lost. Uh, Derek, the favorite wow. curse word is fuck. Is that true or false? They would have false. Oh, that's true. My yeah. favorite curse word. What, what the fuck would you think it fucking is? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? Right? Can you, you believe how wrong shit? they were? What do you think it's shit? Shit's not a fun. Fuck is a fun curse word. Fuck that's is the one that gets you shushed in a, a golden corral. <laughs> that was a golden but corral. shit doesn't get you. I have, no, I have forgotten to ask if we like could swear on this show. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Just Wait, don't oh, say I, uh, I the bad, bad, bad words. That's not Like growler. You can't say growler. You can't say growler, apparently. Oh, well, fuck. Or, fuck. or fanny See? pack? Yeah, you can't say fanny pack either. Okay. Nope. Uh, a whole bunch we of found stuff. out that growler means vagina in, uh, in uh, New Zealand. In New Zealand. And fanny means vagina. Really interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, so, uh, Green Squad, you're voting right now. Any word means vagina round, in another country. Which makes me super excited because we get a lot of things to start out with. We also you, will get you, to choose the, the speed you, round that we're getting. You really here. don't. You only get Dominating a knife. Dominating you. You get a knife to start out with. <laughs> Dominating. Uh, let's see. So, Green Squad has voted true on this one. Silas has ridden a bicycle in the last three months. True or false? Uh, you can look at me and know that that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> <There we go. laughs> <laughs> Did they guess that? They no. guess true they guess on that. that. You might have. Like, well, I appreciate I love you people. Yes, yeah, see? I already like you. They're, they're I'm glad we got that one you. wrong. Because you're like, no, he looks like a guy. Here's the thing. Green Squad is really good. They gave Derek last time everything he needed to make some really good stuff. Green <laughs> yeah. Squad is really good. Purple Squad's a treacherous one. You don't want to be on that squad. You gotta, no, you gotta come from behind on Look, that man, one. Purple squad, Purple squad, we're just here to have a good time, play yeah. some Smash, and drink some tequila, man, and then Woo. we're done. <laughs> I'm not some asshat who's just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> His asshat is objectively fun to say, so I wanted to make sure I called Gr- him. <laughs> great, great. So let's see if they get this one right this time. All right, hang on I'm here. Really we're gonna see what happens. Right, yeah. Let's see what they say here. Yeah, we are talking they said, about true. Fun, great. By the, way. Uh, the question was incorrect uh, on there. They said that your favorite curse word is fuck, and this time they said true. Is that true? <laughs> fuck is my favorite. So there we go. So we got a point right there. I love oh, that. Thank like, God. Okay. I love it. Was it wasn't unanimous. unanimous. This is what we just got Purple in our ears. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it's going to be a fun day, and I'm just here to have fun. And uh, also, uh, just so if you haven't listened to any of my albums, <laughs> the word fuck is used more How than the it? word I. So uh, you got a you got a mole on your team. We or really do. I don't do. know what happened. We, I think we do. That's the. I've, there have been people that have that have came out oh, as moles and said, "Oh yeah, I'm on Mike Squad, but I'm on Green Squad to fuck with the." the yeah. Fuck with Mike. Well, so, we've also got idea. my partners on your team. <laughs> I feel she like you're giving Purple them squad. ideas that they hadn't thought of that. Like, that's oh, that's, that's a good like, idea. We knew that was going to happen. No, we already. absolutely knew people were just going to pick things <laughs> to have fun and yeah. give you guys shit and make things that the that the judges had to eat. I love that. 
<laughs> that it's is... okay. That belt's probably too small for me anyway. Uh, <laughs> Silas, uh, they voted false on this one. Silas's favorite musician is George Clinton. True or false? That is false. That is false. All right. Oh. So we got another point. Just smash that purple team. Who's your into the ground there? Now, I'll say I did, the, I did not like that question. Because Why? Because it changes so much on what mood I'm in. Or like, what can I think? Sure. I on well, that, so does the candy bar queen over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh this week at Snickers, when I answered the question, it was Almond Joy. I'm trying to do this Almond Joy. I said, uh, today I said Prince. No, excuse like me. Prince. Nobody's favorite candy bar is Almond Joy. <laughs> All right. That's, right. That is false. Is <laughs> you Prince? Prince, Prince. Prince, Prince. As an artist, he was incredible. Oh, yeah. He was, uh, I mean, the man was everything. a genius. Yeah, yeah, he was a genius. And, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's hard, you know, because I look back at, at a, I really enjoyed the songs, but I know later he became a Jehovah Witness and hated everything that he had written before. Yeah, it's so crazy. It's like, like, oh, I, I like him better than he did, I think. Did you, uh, you ever seen that, uh, the Walt My Guitar Gently Loops video where he does that insane solo? He does this oh. really insane solo, yeah. but then he takes his guitar, he throws it in the air. Yeah. You never see the guitar come back down. It never down. comes down. <laughs> oh yeah, no, like, I've seen that. Like you just watch it and you're like, I know exactly Wait, what, what? you're talking about. <laughs> so we came out on top here, Green Squad. Good well, job. Hey, we got one more question also, for Derek. Oh, okay. But yeah. Uh, let's hear was, the question that doesn't it? matter. Yeah. Uh, you're the Puerto Rico vote of the. Uh, <laughs> just, they voted true on this, uh, Derek. You're bilingual. <laughs> false. Come on. <laughs> false. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a white cis yeah. American male. I barely speak English confidently. <laughs> My favorite word is fuck. I don't even know how to say it in Klingon. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. All right, so because we've won oh. that round, Green Squad, that means that we will be going first. We get this going starting, uh, the starting first advantage and served. We will have our choice of trivia topic for the, uh, for the speed round here, and we will get to choose our knives that both chefs get to work with. So let's go ahead. Uh, if you want to head to your station over there, Derek, uh, Silas, you're going to stay right here. You might want to scooch in Wait, the middle. We'll start using our knife here. You get the I don't get a f I do. Oh, yeah, that's fine. All right. So everybody, while they are getting started, let me explain how this is going to work. You on your screens are going to see a number one through six. That's going to correspond to how many questions you think your chef is going to get correct in your trivia category. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'll tell you what those are in just a second here. And you can choose. <clears throat> Uh, now, what that is going to correspond to is if uh, Chef uh, Silas gets one question correct, he gets a spatula, two questions right, he gets a medium pan, three questions right, he gets the any spice that he chooses, four, he gets a griddle, and five, he gets to ignore any sabotage. What is six? Uh, I only have five. Okay, so one through five, I guess. I don't know what happened today. Uh, so anyway, so if they get six, so, do, yeah, so don't... We just got production in our ear saying, does anybody get six? We've never in the history of the show had anybody get six. Did somebody get five? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, well, let's oh, Angelina see. Angelina got five once. That's oh, right. Angelina yeah. did get five. So anyway, what we want to say here is <clears throat> it's a high risk, high reward situation. So if you guess five and Silas only gets four correct, uh -oh. you get nothing to start out with. I am not. So you want to guess what you think. We'll, we'll interview him in just a second. And so you want to guess lower than what you think he's going to get right there or exactly on. So let's go over here to Silas. Silas, do you want to do science or music? Oh, this is really tough. Um, I'm I am gonna go with science. Science, mainly because I feel really stupid whenever I hear music trivia questions. Okay. Do you want? Uh, what do you think? Questions? Uh, how many do you think you can get right in just general science trivia? One through six. I'm gonna go three. You're gonna go three. Three always seems to be the 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 sort of middle. I only I'll picks only there. just because <clears throat> I, I I'm a self-proclaimed nerd, so I okay. feel like if I say one. It's really admitting defeat, and, and, and like I'm not a real nerd. Like I gotta at least get through, yeah. right? Oh, absolutely. General and then, <laughs> Minky one nine eight says, "Well produced." I said, "I think I judged it too early." Well, let me tell you, <laughs> you did. You my, did uh, judge us too early. My 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 uh, my stepmother is a is a biologist. So really, it, yeah. So it runs in the family. So I'm pretty sure I know science. All right. So question. <laughs> you just absorbed the knowledge. That's what President Trump said. All right. So, there we go. So uh, they are going to guess that you're going to get three correct. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Here we go. Question one. What arthritic disorder occurs due to increased uric acid in the blood? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say it again. Phone a friend. Repeat. What arthritic disorder occurs due to uric, uh, due to increased ur uric acid in the blood? I'm sorry. No, you can't. You can't. Stop help it. Everyone, no, nope. uh, Who discovered penicillin? Curie. No. Uh, what phobia is the term for having an irrational fear of dead things such as corpses? Necrophobia. Yes, it is. Uh, which is the largest planet in the in the solar system? 
Jupiter. That is correct. How many uh, of the average adult's 32 permanent teeth are molars? Four. Wrong. <laughs> Fish travel <laughs> in schools. What do whales travel in? This is an easy one, too. <laughs> schools? Oh, no, no, it's oh, not no. correct. We didn't get it right. It was actually pods. So let me go pods. through this. I'm uh, a millennial these days, is, dude. Jesus. Can we uh -oh. his whole his whole before setup you, fell off? Before you continue, when you asked that first question, both Derek and Dante were like, yo, yo, like flailing. Yeah, get out. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read through these real quick. So uh, what arthritic disorder occurs <clears throat> due to uric acid in the blood? That's uh, gout. Uh -oh. Who discovered penicillin? Alexander Fleming. Phobia is necrophobia, so you got that correct. Uh, which is the largest planet in the solar system? Jupiter. How many of the average adults' 32 permanent teeth are molars? That's 12. And fish travel in schools. Whales travel in pods. Or dams, apparently. <laughs> Mr. Andy Watt, I'm pretty sure I know science famous last words. I also that like one. The sad microphone. <laughs> <laughs> this whole, this whole, this whole. This whole. All right. I'll get, I'll get, this is me. All right, let's, let's over pass it over to them. Let's pass it over to them. Over Good Lord. Lord. Okay, I can't, but I mean, I can't. Oh, oh man, that's so this. good. Uh, how's it going, Derek? It's good. It's good. good. Uh, music. Music, music questions. Well, how, we're going to talk to the audience there. What do you, what do you, how's your knowledge of music? I mean, you're wearing like a Ramones T-shirt that says Seattle. Are you? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I uh, Seattle, uh, forty-eight hour film festival. Yep. But I love. Yeah, I'm a music guy. I mean, it's what I love. Love is that and comedy and uh, big old '80s metalhead. And, oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, so, what are you telling them? You think should, should we shoot for the stars on this? Should we? Should we no. Should, because I, I <laughs> should, <laughs> could be a whole bunch of fucking weirdo questions. Should we? Should we shoot for like the top of your head on this? Is that, can we shoot for four? Let's we, shoot. We for can four. shoot. There's, I mean, there's only five, so we can try for four. You want to go for four? Let's let's go. For we'll four. go for. Oh. Four. Um, <laughs> I almost picked music because I thought he would kill in this one. So I, well, yeah, no. sabotage. There's only five questions. All right, Derek's feeling pretty good about this. Uh, so all right, we're gonna the button's gonna end in just a bit here. Uh, you know, look at these questions. But there should be six questions. There are six oh, questions, but there's no reward oh, for great. six That's questions. Yeah. Well, they voted three, which isn't the worst, okay, right? That's still that's still decent. You'll start out with the heat if you get these right. All right, music, speed round. Derek, are you ready? Yes. <clears throat> Beethoven's third symphony is nicknamed what? Pass. Uh, Money for Nothing was an 80s number one for which band? Dire Straits. Correct. In which decade of the 20th century did Elvis Presley shoot to fame? The 50s. Correct. How many strings are on a cello? Four. Correct. Who sang the theme song in 9 to 5? Dolly Parton. Correct. What kind of bites provided Def Leppard with a number one single? Love bites. That is correct. Holy wow, you shit. would have they gotten guess five. You would have gotten five. I, Holy crap! Did you know those? I, I nice three. You knew three out of those. All right. <laughs> so that means that we're actually going to start. Out, we're going to start out. So in addition to the knife that uh, Silas is going to choose for you, Sir Silas, I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to start out with a spatula, a medium pan, uh, and any spice. It says rear burner. Ours might think is different. My, I say spatula, medium pan, any spice. Yeah, spatula, medium spice, and uh, or medium spice, any pan, medium spice. All right, All so right. actually don't start out with the heat source, but you'll be able to go and choose any spice during the break. We're going to take a quick break right now uh, so, these, so that Silas can choose some knives uh, and so that uh, Derek can choose a spice. Yep. Oh, uh, Amanda's asking, well, it's, uh, the name of the first question, uh, the, the only one you got wrong, was the Eroica. Was the third symphony? The Eroica. I don't. Know. I don't know. All right. Serotonin says, "All hail Derek." <laughs> Send a soft head. Sir. Goodbye, everybody. We'll be back in just a minute here after our intermission for Squad Says Served. Don't go anywhere, friend.